Hi, welcome to Analytics for All. Today's lesson, we're going to cover DDL and DML. You might have heard of these terms in relation to SQL, and maybe you're not quite sure what they are. Well, DDL and DML, what they are is they're a subset of commands used to manage your objects and your data within a SQL database. The technical names for them are DDL is Data Definition Language, and DML is Data Manipulation Language. And if you didn't know, SQL actually stands for SQL Query Language. So some people get confused and they see these languages and think well, they're a separate language. This DDL must be a different, DML must be a different language from SQL. If you want to get maybe, you know, talk to some academics, they might get a little, you know, pushy on that. But in the reality, if you look, the way I look at it and the way you're going to look at it in the real world is these two are a subset of commands used within the major umbrella that is SQL to help manage a SQL database. Let's take a look. So DDL, data definition language, is used to do things like create drop objects. Okay, objects, what's an object? An object is a table, a view, an, an index, even a database. It, it's a physical container, it's not the data itself. It's where the data sits, it's where the data resides. So keep that in mind, DDL is containers for the data. So we have terms like create, alter, and drop. Drop is a DDL language term. Delete. You'd think drop delete's got to be the same thing. No, delete is DML. We'll go into that next, but I want you to keep in mind to you're going to get rid of an object such as a table or a view or a database. You got to use drop. Delete will only get rid of the data. We'll look at that next year. So, got DML is data manipulation language. This contains things like add, delete, and edit data found in the tables. So we have words like insert. That's how you can load data into a table. Update. That's how you can edit the data that's in the tables. Delete and truncate. These both, people confuse these two because what they both do is they will delete the data within a table, but the data will sit there empty. Truncate, if I type truncate table A, all the data is gone from that table. The table still sits there, but the data is empty. If I put delete table A, all the data is gone from that table. But delete allows me to add one more feature, which is a where clause. So I can say delete from table A where record is older than four years so it'll go through and delete all records older than four years and everything younger than four years is going to still be in the table whereas truncate table a it's all gone there is no where clause okay so this is a quick you know explanation of dml and ddl i, I hope this helps clear it up uh, i know when i first learned about them i was concerned i'm like oh my god i got to learn more languages here but it's really just a set of subsets in there if you want any more information go to my website at analyticsforall.org i'll leave a link to some SQL and DDL write-ups I've got on my website down in the description below. Again, thank you. Uh, if you like this, hit the subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what kind of stuff you'd like me to cover. Thank you.